Bridge has a penis idol. She is known for luring cats into closed dryers. I am quite serious. Always check your dryer before you start a load, lest you make the same mistake I once made. Poor PD. mad lad dropped a cursed ring that got itself onto me butt Wainwright's finger. Trying to figure that whole thing out. Cursed ring? Hmm. I've got a hunch it's got something to do with those bonded. And I always follow my hunches. I think. But if it's the bonded you're investigating, you should head to the town archives. Here, this key should get you in. My way of saying thanks. As for me, I can't remember what the six and a half hells I was doing here, so I'll head back to the old uh, lonesome shop. Actually, I was enjoying the quiet for a... It all started... Uh, well, I'm not sure. I'm a man without memories. There's just a cloud of dark fog in their place. But I know I'm searching for something. Answers to questions I've already forgotten. Wait, what was I saying? Ah, never mind. You're busy. No questions asked.
The archives keep strange, unknowable hours. Mostly because they're not posted anywhere. The only way in is through the old librarian, Harriet. Hey there! Shh, shh, shh. Okay. Look, I just need to get inside the archives so I can help me friend. What do you keep your voice down? This is a place of quiet learning and solemn contemplation. Hey, Harriet, let them in, won't you? I helped you find that missing locker, didn't I? No, oh, fine. But don't you cause a ruckus, you hear me? And this makes us even, Bert. Glad that worked. I wasn't sure if that lock bit was true. Now, you'll want to make your way to the holography room to find what you're searching for. The holo projector will have some info on the town's history. Oh, Bert, I, I didn't see you there. Oh, and you recovered my locket. How brave of you. Would you, would you help me put it on? There, that's better. Let me just, let me just let down my hair and take off these glasses. Oh, what's that? You like what you see, do you? Well, that makes two of us. Now, Bert, why don't you come a little closer?
Inside that mankind has only seen in dreams. This could change everything! Even more fascinating, my initial studies hinted a link between Githian's eternal life and the technology itself. This will require further experimentation. Uh, do be careful, my beloved. There are some lines we should not cross. It is called the Eater of Hearts, after all. <laughs> Darling, really? You worry too much. Interesting. But there must be more. Find another tape. Again, uh, not ordering you around or anything, just, just trying to help. I have a hunch there's another way in. There always is, friend, if you're clever. See if maybe there's a ventilation shaft or something you could get into. Always follow your hunches, friend. That's what I think I do. Boyo, you already told me that bit. I did? Damn this curse. I'm sorry. I, I forgot. See, I lost my memories. There's a cloud of... Dark fog! Dark fog! See? Knew what you were gonna say before you said it. Oh, right.
before any great hunters was getting us. Nobody likes you. Search log day 162. I am worried about Vincent. He is obsessed with Gideon's heart. I can hardly understand the things he's been saying lately. He believes the heart holds the key to eternal life, but we still barely understand the mutagenic and metaphysical properties of Gideon's power. I don't know what to do. Wriggle all you want, worm. It will make no difference.